Wow, that's really dark. Hmm. That's better, although now I have this uh, blinding light just glaring me in the eyes, but I'm okay. It, it's not painful at all. Anyways, greetings my Catternauts, and welcome back to the Catnublia channel. Now, my last video I said that I wouldn't be making any speed draws or how to draw for the next year or so, and I'm about to explain why. I have been lucky enough to be accepted on a Rotary long-term youth exchange. I will be leaving within the next 24 hours to go to Denmark, where I will be living with a host family for the next 10 months to 12 months. Uh, it's going to be... It's going to be pretty amazing. I've been dreaming of traveling since I was little. Uh, when I was in grade 8, I made these little flags out of plasticine. I had the Danish one somewhere, but I, I lost it. I can name them all, though. You have Taiwan, China, uh, Poland, Mongolia. I believe that one is Belgium. I may be wrong. It's been a while since I've studied flags. Uh, Romania, I think. Ukraine, Brazil, which is where Karina went. Thailand, Lithuania. I even know what the colors mean. The sun, the grass, and blood. Uh, Croatia, which is where a boy named Tomislav is from, and he'll be coming to spend a couple months with my family. Uh, Latvia, Estonia, these three are the Baltic states. Turkey, Austria, pretty much the same as Latvia, except much lighter. Seychelles, uh, the Netherlands, I believe. Once again, I'm not 100%. And the UK. So you can tell that I'm a total nerd and I don't have much of a life. But this will be the first time, surprisingly enough, leaving North America. And I'm really looking forward to it. Anyways. I leave tomorrow, and I'm in my room right now, just going over the things I have packed. It is right now 28 degrees, with about 58% humidity, so it feels about like 32 degrees. I hate, hate Canadian summers. I will be going to Denmark, and in Denmark, on the day I arrive, it, it is expected to be about 18 degrees, which is beautiful. Right now we have a nice summer storm rolling in. Don't know if you can hear the thunder. And I'm checking over my luggage. So I've got my big suitcase. Oops, there's a thing there. There it is. This guy. And it's filled with pretty much all of my clothes, underwear, socks, bras, shirts, pants, all of it. Uh, a couple of gifts for uh, some friends that I'll intend to make. I hope I make lots of friends. Uh, and um, various, like, I've got a couple of shampoos in here. I really like this one kind of shampoo that I'm planning to bring. Then you have my little suitcase over here. This guy. This one's Swiss. And it has shoes and coats. <laughs> and gifts. I mean, there's a lot of maple-flavored candy in here. No maple syrup, because I didn't want anything to break. Oh, maple syrup broke and got all over my luggage. It smelled good. That's all I can think of. It smelled good. Everything else would be horrible. But yeah, that's all I've got in this room, pretty much. Um, I think there might be something else. Oh, I have my business cards. I get little cards that has all my information on it. And they're packed away in a little Lindor chocolate box. I think I might prefer the chocolates, though. 
And then I have my carry-on. It doesn't fit everything. Everything won't fit. I'm trying my hardest. There is not enough space. I cannot fit all of my favorite uh, toiletries, my medication, my makeup, stuffed animals that I bought for everybody. This is Dammit Joe. He's gonna be on the go with me. We're gonna travel around the world together. Canada's national animal, the beaver. Uh, yeah. And I've got a painting stuffed in the back here. I know it's probably not a good idea, but I have no idea how to pack a painting and I have no extra space to put in any kind of protective wrapping or anything. I have lots of little books. I have a journal. A journal to keep. I have a little sketchbook. I'm going to sketch a bunch of landscapes in Denmark. And I've got a book to read, a book or two, to read on the plane. And lots of other stuff in there. Some spare clothes because it's going to be a seven hour flight to Amsterdam. A four hour layover. And then an hour flight to Denmark. And then maybe an hour drive to where I'm going to be living. So... I'm not going to sleep for like 24 hours. 48, because I'm probably not going to sleep tonight either. But yeah. That's why I won't be making any more Cat Nublia videos, or, well, speed draws. I'm hoping to continue with the vlogging, because I'm too lazy to write a blog. And uh, this will be how my family keeps up to date on what I'm doing as I am Denmarking. And this is how my club will keep up to date. I will do vlogs, I will give every all of them my YouTube channel. And yeah. Here is a kid about to embark on an adventure for the first time. I I don't know what to <laughs> I don't feel much right now, but I can tell when I get to the airport. She's gonna hit me like a wave. I'll either be a crying mess or just absolutely jumping off the walls. I might not be able to get into the plane. I'll be so excited. So we'll see. Hopefully my next video, well, my next video will be when I am in Denmark and a little more settled down. Till then, I'll see you next time. Thank you for watching, and if you like my content, please subscribe, like, and share. Bye-bye!